video about electron configurations with ions. So how do we write electron configurations when our atom no longer is neutral and now it is charged? So let's first start by reviewing what ions are. They're atoms that now have a charge and they got this charge because they either gained or, lo or lost electrons. Remember, if you lose electrons, you're a cation, positive, and if you gain electrons, you're an anion, negative. Okay. Another good important thing to remember is that you only gain um, or lose valence electrons from your valence shell, the outermost shell. That's what a valence shell is. Another word for shell is energy level. Okay, so let's take a look at an ion. If you notice here, I have selenide, which was selenium, but now it's an ion. And I have a 2 minus, which means I have an ion, an anion. And this 2 minus means that I gained two electrons. Remember, when it's negative, you gained. When Ms. Brazian's negative, she gained weight. Okay? The ground state, which is the normal full electron configuration, is, let's bring back our periodic table and find selenium right there. Okay, so we've got 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2, keep going, 3d10, and land right there. Now we're back to 4p1234, 4p4. Okay. That's nothing new. But now, if you remember, we said that you gain two electrons. Remember, you can only gain and lose electrons in your valence shell, which is the outermost. So I find my outermost, and that is my 4p4. Good. 4p4 is going to be my outermost. Fourth is the highest energy level. P is higher than S. And remember, P can hold up to six electrons. So is there room for more? Yes, there is. So now, watch, I'm going to add my two electrons into that sublevel because its orbitals can hold more. So 1s2, 2s2 stays the same, 2p6, 3s2 stays the same. All of this is the same. And now here's the new part. 4 P stays the same, but I've gained the 2, so 4 plus 2 makes 6. Gain the 2 electrons. If P was full, then I have to introduce the next energy level and the next sublevel. But because P has more room, remember P can hold up to 6, right? If you remember, P has 3 sublevels or orbitals, and each one can hold up to 2. 2, 4, 6, and there was only 4, so I can hold more. Okay, how about a cation? Well, if you notice here, I have calcium, the cation, calcium 2 plus, and that means I lost 2 electrons, so I originally had 20 electrons, minus 2 gives me 18 electrons. Okay, I've written out its ground state, 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2, lands me right on calcium. All right, 4s2 lands me right on calcium. Now I want to do the ion configuration. So what that means is I'm going to lose two electrons. Remember, you only gain and lose in your valence. So here is my valence, my outermost. 4 is the highest, furthest away, 4s2. And I'm going to lose two. Well, here are the two that I'm going to lose. So when I go to write this, if you notice, when I lose two, there aren't any left in here. So I don't write a zero. Instead, I lose this entire part or this entire energy level. So I've copied everything the same, 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6. And notice I lost two electrons, so I no longer have that energy level. So I don't write it in. So this is your answer, OK? All right. Lastly, we're going to introduce this vocabulary word, isoelectronic. Isoelectronic is when an ion and an atom have the same number of electrons. 
So therefore they have the same electron configuration. Okay, what does that mean? Well, as we just saw, this is calcium, the cation's electron configuration, right? We lost that 4s2 because this means to lose two electrons. Whose electron configuration is this then? Well, it's calcium, the ion, but let's check this out. 1s2, 2s2 lands me all the way on 3p6. Here's 3, here is p, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That is the same electron configuration as argon. So calcium, the cation, has the same 3p6 electron configuration as argon. Turns out every one of our ions is isoelectronic with an atom that is neutral. Remember, the whole point why you gain and lose electrons is you are trying to be like a noble gas. Okay, so argon's electron configuration is exactly the same. This is called being isoelectronic. Calcium ion is isoelectronic with argon. So if we go back to our cation, the reason why we turn, or these elements turn into ions, is they are trying to achieve an octet. When it lost the 4s2, remember there was a 4s2 here when it was just calcium, when it lost that, it now has 3 as its highest energy level. And the electrons found now in its new outermost energy level add up to 8. It is now fulfilling the octet rule. It is more stable like this. That is why it chose to lose electrons. So in turn, it's saying, I want to be like a noble gas, because all of the noble gases have 8 valence electrons. So it's mimicking argon, or the better word is calcium ion is isoelectronic with argon. That's the end of the video.